Here we have a couple uh, twist on uh, F connectors uh, for uh, you know putting on RG6, RG59, whatever it might be. Now, uh, twist on, as the name implies, twist right onto the outer jacketing of the cabling, and essentially what they do is they've got threads inside the barrels that uh, allow it to thread itself right onto the outer jacketing of the cable itself. So uh, that's how they attach to the cabling. Now, uh, twist ons may not be our favorite connectors, but uh, as far as a toolless solution, this is definitely one of them. Uh, now you normally do your normal two-step strip like you would on, on coax, so uh, that's not th th anything different. We showed you how to do that already. Uh, however, in this case, I'm going to tell you something different, and that is we're going to leave the braid in place. We're not going to fold it back like we do on most F connectors. Um, and the reason for that is the threads inside the barrel here will basically cut it off no matter what. Now, one of the secrets of getting one of these on wire, and it's a big one, is making sure that the connector and the cable are the right size. You know, as I probably mentioned before, the coax is not always the same size. Uh, so if a cable is a little fatter than normal, it is not going to go on this, uh, on this connector, or the connector is not going to go on the cable very easily, I'll put it that way. And these are a little bit of a workout, so you basically just, uh, do your normal strip, start threading this on. Now folks, this is a, again a little bit of a, a workout to get these on, you have to have a little bit of hand strength, but we've got to push this on, until, or get this, twist this on until that white dielectric starts to come all the way through the front of the nut and um, yeah I got it on uh, you can see that the white dielectric is even again with the uh, little hole inside the connector which is what we want to see happen and um, and there you go it's a properly installed twist on coax connector fairly simple to actually use uh, we sell a lot of those to uh, the homeowner or DIYer type folks